Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the Playberry IPTV player to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole setup is going to be super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. And in order to do that, just go to search on your device. And here in the search bar, you need to start typing the loader. And then, as you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on that app. And that's the loader, which you need to download to your device. But after you get the loader application, it's not over yet. We'll still have to set it up. So in order to set up the loader, we gotta go to settings. So let's do it right now. We click on that button with the gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Far TV. Open it. And here we'll have to enable developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's super easy to make them appear. You just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now at the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if we go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. Open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and from here just turn that option on for the loader. So what it does is going to allow you to install other applications from the internet, and not necessarily only those apps which are available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here. We open it, and here you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, we got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, we just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Ireland right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with free months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now finally, let's use the loader safely. So let's go to the list of apps on your device, open up the loader and of course wait until the app opens for you. Then, on the left side menu, it's very important that you click on Home and not on Browser. So once again, make sure that you have clicked on Browser, and then in that bar, we got to enter a code, which is going to be 2, 8, 9, 0, and 7. So once again, the code is going to be 28907. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see on the screen, and do not make any mistakes, because obviously, if you make a mistake, then the code is not going to work. And then you have to click on go. And while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you will get even more content about Fire Sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It really helps me a lot and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now after the website has opened, we just have to scroll down a bit until we see a list of categories. And from the list we'll have to click on IPTV players. So there it is. Click on IPTV players, and then a list of apps is going to open up for you. And from here, you gotta click on Playberry, which is right here. So let's click on Playberry. 
then an ad might pop up for you. If it does pop up, don't worry and just click on close or on X to close down the ad. In my case, I have to click on X, so we gotta click on it. And then a new web page is going to open up, just in a couple of seconds. Yeah, there it is. So now we have to scroll this page down as well. Let's scroll. And we need to keep scrolling until we find the download for TV Android TV button. Here it is. Let's click on it. And now in a couple of moments, the download is going to start. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. In my case, I got a pretty fast connection. Then you have to click on install and wait until Playberry gets installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV device. After that, don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way we'll be able to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on our device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way we get rid of unnecessary files from the Fire Stick and save you some free space on your device. And that's really important, because by default you don't have too much of free space on your device anyway. Then finally, let's go to the list of applications on your Fire Stick. There it is, open it, and then we'll have to scroll it down to the bottom. Here we'll find Playberry, which we just unloaded. Now I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way, Playberry is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time needed. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.